Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to fix your date format within the Power Query Editor. Now this can be done in both Power BI as well as in Excel. I had made a tutorial earlier showing you how to fix your date format in Power BI. Now some of the users have commented saying that they are not able to fix the format even though they are following the tutorial. Now to help you fix the date formats, I have two different date columns in here. So these can be the two scenarios where you are stuck with and you're unable to change the date format. In the earlier video that I had made, I had the date in this particular format and I helped you fix that particular date. And the way we did that is basically if you go to the transform tab under data type, you can see that the format of that particular date column is text and if you right click this or if you go to data type here and change this to date you would get an error power query is unable to change the text format into the date format so in my previous video i had explained how to do this so let me quickly repeat the process again i'm gonna get rid or delete this step here which was change type so i'm gonna select this column here first of all i'm gonna change the data type here to whole number so once we formatted the data type to whole number then we'll go back again to the data type and select date now power query will ask you how do you want the change column type to appear because we already have a change column type whether you would like to replace the current step or add a new step when you replace the current step what happens is that we already had changed the text into the whole number now power query is asking you do you want to replace that step which means that you will be directly converting the text format into the date format which means that you're going to get the error again so when I click on replace current you will see that we're getting the error again because in this step in here we are converting the date column here directly to date now that is not something we wanted so let me remove this step so i'm going to go back to the data type text here and choose whole number so now i have a step added here for whole number now what i'm going to do here is go back to data type again and this time i'm going to choose date and instead of add saying replace current i'm going to add a new step which means that we're now going to have another step the first step here is going to convert my text format into the whole number and then the next type here which is converting the whole number into a date format so when you follow this particular procedure you'll be able to convert the text format into the date format but however if you apply the same step into this date format so if you look at what the date format here earlier was that we had these numbers but in this case we have these formatted as text but we have these hyphens as well within the text so in this case if you do the same steps that you had applied to this date column let's see what happens so i'm going to go back to data type and choose the whole number so and then i'm going to select insert so let's cancel this i'm going to select this step go back to the transform tab data type text i'm going to choose whole number and now directly i have an error power query is not able to transform the text format into the whole number itself so in the first step itself, we have failed this time. So how do you fix this error? Now that we've tried the whole number and it didn't work, let's see if we can change this to date format directly and see if it is going to change to date format. So I'm gonna select date here. And when I select date, I'm getting an error again. So what do you do in such cases where you're not able to change the data type to a whole number, nor you're able to change the data type to text. So in such cases, what do you need to do is, I'm gonna just get rid of the step that we applied here, which is the date format and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click here and let's head over to the change type within the change type you have various data types like the whole number date date time duration etc we're not going to use any of these here but instead we're going to select using locale so let's click on using locale and you have various options that are available here so the data type here is text by default and let's change this to date now so when you select date, the date format when you use the English India locale is basically the date first, then the month and then the year. But when you look at this date column that you have in your data set, it says month first, then the date and then the year. So this is what happens when Power BI is not able to identify this as a date because it is using the locale which is English India. It is trying to format this column in the date, month and year format and it is failing to do so because we have the data in our data set in month, date and the year format. It is very obvious that Power BI is going to fail in this case so we will have to make some changes. So instead of using the English India as the locale, we will have to change this so that the date format changes to 
month, date, and the year format. So since I know that English US uses that particular format, so I'm gonna just scroll down here and choose English US. English United States, I'm gonna choose English United States, and you can see the sample input values here as well. We have clearly month, date, and the year as the format, and now when I click on OK, and now we have successfully transformed our date column into the date format. So if I go to the transform tab, my data type now says text. I will now be able to create hierarchies within my report using this particular date column. So with this solution, I hope you will now be able to transform your text columns to date. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.